All right, so we are back on Saturday. I always believe this is the 24th of June. Power went out in Blanga, 8 a.m. So we made the plan to come up here to Benicawa and spend the day. A bunch of family up here cooking, cleaning the house, and the crew's working still. They work Saturday, they'll be off tomorrow. But this is the exterior of my or fence that we weren't going to get done because it's the exterior and I'm not going to see it. But it was pointed out to me that unless I finish it off and actually fill in all these crevices where there is some rebar exposed that that'll start compromising the integrity of the fence i don't want that this was a very expensive fence I think about as much as the house so i don't want to do it again so we'll we're going to pay the extra and have the outside finished also like the inside we'll just fill it all in it'll all be sealed up i'm not going to paint it at this time there may be a point in my life where i decide to paint it but right now it's just about preserving the integrity so this is the uh this is a right away listed with the brong guy um it's not gonna be any building this is the easement this is a neighbor's property, Gino. He's going to build a house. He hasn't started yet. He's got a caboot, a nice caboot. Uh, and did his fence in front and put up barbed wire. Then he's going to split it. And he's going to sell the back half of his. Um, so we're going to use ours for the business. And this is the mango tree that is right in the middle of the right of way. Which it's a big beautiful tree. But it's not mine. And if somebody uh, it needs to be cut down, it's it's not my uh, decision to say yes or no. At first I I wanted to say no, but then after reflecting our fence line is going to run right about here basically where those posts are at down over the hill well I guess more of this angle and if we're going to put parking lot business in here the tree kind of has to go so it's actually doing me a favor so there's another mango tree over there that I'm sure we can get our fill of mangoes from and that's not on our property either. It's in the easement. But nobody's talking about cutting it down. And then my third option is, is just go to the market and buy a handful of mangoes whenever I want a mango. <coughs> so, see the bananas are... Coming up good. Again, we planted all these bananas. There is an easement on this side also. It's five meters between our property, which would be that wall, and that barbed wire fence that runs basically on the in, inside of that mango tree. And that runs down. So our property goes down to the creek, which is down yonder, past the overgrown uh, backyard. Manalo is working on 
I'm getting it cut down. It's a lot of work. I mean, it's something that needs attention because in the rainy season, this stuff grows quick. There's freaking cobras around here. So you wanna try to uh, not make it a good place for the cobras. They like the grass. So we got some bananas right there. This is my first time back here in three months. So I, mean, I have no idea. There could have been bananas and the neighbors might have came over and got them, which is which is fine. We just rotted on on the tree anyway. But it doesn't look like, as I understand, when the banana tree has a bunch, it's done. It's not going to get a second bunch. So it drops the sister. Will start growing. So I'm assuming every place that there's a sister tree on a banana, a big banana tree, that means it's already had a bunch of bananas. That's my guess. So, yeah, this is where the our pool will be. You can kind of see the lay of the land here. So that's how the land lays. And then right about here, it starts dropping off pretty fast. So what I'm thinking, in order to utilize this area, I'll just do some slabs and uh, make the pool on the hill. Well, this would be the shallow end up here and be darker back there. And then you can do the um, area to have the, the parties off to the side over here and over here have it concreted. That's my idea, very preliminary because I don't know if that's, if it's possible structurally, if it makes sense to do it that way, or if it costs a lot of money. And if it costs a lot of money, we'll be going up here. I mean, I'm not gonna raise any cows or anything, so I don't need this land. We just bought it for the business, so we could, big enough to put a pool area to have a uh, you know in indoor area and then a uh, patio area where they can have parties and then later maybe a room or two people want to spend the night but that's way down the road many many months away before we start getting into all those fine details For now, today they're cutting up the they're cutting the metal for the gate, front gate. I asked Joey to, he's our engineer. I asked him if he could get the gate finished, all the gates finished, so that we could secure this, so I could uh, start moving some more valuable stuff up here and to. Uh, so we can start staying up here more. And so they're doing the gates, working on the gates today. I'm sure it'll be a while before they're finished, but they're getting started. And it is, I mean, you go out in the sun, I mean, I'm not saying anything that's not very, very obvious, but but once you come into the shade, it, it's, it's pleasant. I mean, you can hang out here all day long. Nice breeze. It's a lot 
it's 100 percent cooler here than it is in Belonga where we escaped from this morning so we're up to there's everybody at the caboo diana i think they're already eating i might have missed out so i gotta see if i can get me some food but all right that's about 10 minutes i'm gonna cut out here just wanted to document the backyard I haven't done it since i've been back i thought it really changed too much in three months but there it is I'll do a, a couple more videos a day. Take care.